Is this ring real or is it costume jewelry? Drop your best guess in the comments and I'm gonna show you how a gemologist figures out what this is. Let's begin with the settings. So we're gonna first look inside the band for clues like stamps and markings. And it looks like we have a Stuller S maker's mark and a 14K gold stamp. It's not attracting to a magnet, which is excellent. And the gold tester is giving us a solid 14K gold reading. So it looks like this is a real 14K gold setting. Now let's test that green gem at the center. We're gonna start with the refractometer to measure how this gem bends light. Now the setting is making it really difficult to get a clear reading, but it does look like we're around the 1.58 mark, which means this could be a natural or synthetic emerald. With polarized light, we're not getting a very clear reading on the side or from the back, but looking at the table, we can see why. Those rainbow-like interference colors mean we're looking down the crystal axis, and using our condensing sphere, we're getting a nice X figure, which means this is a uniaxial gem, another check mark for emerald. Now, everything's pointing to this being emerald, but we're definitely not done yet because we need to figure out if this is natural or synthetic. And luckily, there are quite a few inclusions to examine. It looks like many of these are calcium inclusions, and I think I even see some of my favorite two-phase inclusions hiding in there as well. So this emerald is really looking natural to me so far. I also like to look for surface-reaching fractures, as most natural emeralds have them. And zooming in, you can see a few of these fractures. And if you've ever heard of the common practice of emerald oiling, this is where the oil enters the emerald. And we can even see the oil along each fracture by using UV light, which is pretty cool. And that means this is a real natural emerald in 14K gold. So did you get this one right?